Deep State FBI refuses to perform damage assessment of Hillary's private server by Jim Hoff for the GatewayPundit.com. Hillary's carelessness and criminal actions may have led to the passing of 20 CIA operatives in China. The Chinese government imprisoned 18 to 20 CIA operatives in China from 2010 to 2012. At the same time, a Chinese-owned company operating in Washington, D.C. area hacked Hillary Clinton's private server throughout her term as Secretary of State. The Chinese government was obtaining Hillary Clinton emails in real time. Her criminal behavior severely damaged U.S. foreign policy and the FBI refuses to act. Tom Fitton from Judicial Watch told Tucker Carlson last week that the FBI does not want to know the possible results of an internal investigation and they wonder why Americans no longer trust the bias and corrupt agency. Well, there are some obvious upsides to storing classified information on a private server in your basement, but one of the downsides is that foreign adversaries could hack it. Wouldn't be that hard. According to the Daily Caller News Foundation, that happened to Hillary Clinton. They say a Chinese-owned company did it and may have had real-time access to her emails during her tenure as Secretary of State. The FBI is denying that, sort of, but the story is still fluid and confusing. And for some reason, a lot of people don't seem that interested in finding out what actually happened. Tom Fitton is in the business of finding out what happened. He's the president of Judicial Watch, and he joins us tonight. Um, so, Tom, this seems like one of those stories, and I just want to be completely clear as we were last night. I don't know the answer. I don't know what happened, of course. But I do think it's worth finding out. And so I'm a little bit confused by the confusion. Why wouldn't we know conclusively, years later, what happened to those emails? Well, there are a few questions. Did this meeting take place, as alleged, between officials at the Office of Director of National Intelligence and Peter Strzok and his colleagues at the FBI? And was there a discussion about compromise of the server by a Chinese front company? Right. That it happened? Did they look into it? Did they follow up on it? We're not getting much feedback from the FBI. So but why would it be hard? I mean, again, you're in the business of getting government to divulge things it wants to hide. So why would it be so hard to get an answer to a very simple question like that? Uh, because the answer would be embarrassing. Uh, we know separately that we went to the FBI. We set up a meeting through Peter Strzok because we had evidence that the Russians had compromised Hillary Clinton's server. Uh, our guy met with uh, Strzok's team for four hours. They never followed up on any of it. How compelling was the evidence that you had? Well, it was compelling enough that the person who was doing it for us who had security clearance thought he had to go to the FBI and tell them that there might have been a classified compromise of information uh, by these Russia-type servers. And uh, the document that we had found came from the same groups of server numbers that were affiliated with Hillary Clinton's server. Pretty substantial evidence, and we gave it to the FBI no evidence that it was done, anything was followed up on. So did they ever get back to you about it? No, they never got back to us. But also Comey. You know, Comey is the best witness here because he said, well, you know, we didn't have any evidence that the, her server was classified, which wasn't necessarily true, but he admitted that, look, they could have done it without us knowing about it. We'd never know about it because they could have covered their tracks. So no one's ruled out that her server has been compromised. In fact, Comey said, we just assume it had been compromised. And sadly, we've sued this administration for its failure to do a damage assessment caused by her leaving classified information on the public equivalent, uh, or the internet equivalent of a public park bench. And they fight us on this. They said it wasn't serious enough to warrant a damage assessment. Look, the deep state doesn't want to do a damage assessment. They don't want to grapple with this because to do so would undermine the fiction that what Hillary did caused no damage and deserved no prosecution. I think you could take Hillary out of the equation and still be appalled by it as the Chinese military hacking into the personal accounts of high American officials. Yes, they are. Let's find out the details. Tom Pitt, I hope you do find out the details, and I hope you bring them here. We will. Thank you. Notice how sugar-coated everything is when they're doing their uh, the the clips. You know what I'm saying? She's she's a criminal. That's that's the criminal in charge there. Yeah. Yeah, this is an old picture of her. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.